Hey guys, welcome back. Happy New Year. Um, I had one final video that I meant to post last year, but I just got sick, unfortunately, like, you know, everyone else I talked to. So it wiped me out for the past couple of weeks. I'm not sure if anyone else feels like that since we've all had COVID. I feel like symptoms really linger and I have been so tired, like sleeping till noon every day which is not something I do. I had just wanted to share with you some final like recent pickups that I got from brands that I love. So over the past few years, I've really shopped a lot just because I found working from home and then now not having a job and we traveled a lot more this year. Um, I essentially, for so many years, almost two decades of my life, I essentially wore scrubs to work every day and then I would change into like gym clothing, like Lululemon clothing to either go to the gym before or after work. So I really didn't have, besides with like the exception of a few outfits, I really didn't have clothes to wear, just normal clothes to wear. So the past few years, I have bought a lot of stuff. I've sold a lot of stuff. I've cleaned out my closet. I feel like I'm finally happy. I have a very good wardrobe now, I feel. So going forward, I think I will maybe just try to focus more on monthly favorite videos. I used to always like watching those when people would share not just, you know, fashion, but maybe your most used beauty skincare item for that month. Um, most worn item, your favorite podcast, book, new recipe, um, things like that. I just have so many other interests and um, things I could talk about, but um, I just, I feel like the past few years I focused mainly on the channel just about like showing things that I'm buying, which is fine, but you know, I, I don't need anything else. I, I'm very blessed, although we've worked very, very hard to get ourselves to this place in life. If you have been a loyal viewer, thank you for sticking with me. I know the quality of my videos is crap. No one's here for the good quality. You will be very happy to know I was gifted a new iPhone for Christmas, which was very nice. My old one is like five or six years old. Um, I will say though, I've tried filming with it. I have to watch a few videos on probably the camera settings. I find when I was filming with it, it's almost making me my face look a little bit like AI generated. I think it's just like the shadows and stuff it creates and it kind of like blurs out the background a little bit. So I, I don't like that. I feel like it doesn't look like, like my true self. So I just kind of want it to look how, you know, my old phone look, but just a little bit better quality. Um, yeah, so I'll figure that out for you guys. Probably the sound will be better. Also too, I was thinking, you know, I should just start posting on Instagram more, um, you know, creating my outfits, stuff like that, just because I have a lot of really good pieces and I like following content like that online. So the first items, I got all these from Oisho. I got most of them on sale. They did a sale, it didn't last very long and a lot of their stuff sells out quickly, but I really like this brand. If you're in Europe, go into the store and feel some of the material. It's just very, very nice, soft feeling material. And I really like the fit of their things. And I like that they make things for like skiing, hiking, more outdoorsy type of sports. And I feel like the price point is, it's better than Lululemon. I also like that it doesn't have a logo on it or a symbol. Um, that way, you know, you can just wear a lot of their stuff as normal clothes. They also have like a travel section and whatnot. So I picked up a couple of their turtlenecks. I usually always wear black turtlenecks a lot in the fall and winter. So I got both of these in a size medium. So got this um, creamy white color and then a black one. So they're size medium, they run true to size. They're a very thick, warm material. I believe these were from their ski collection. So a lot of their clothing is made for, um, you know, sometimes there's UV production built in for warmer months or for these, I think, you know, it can go to like minus 12 degrees Celsius weather. So these are great. They fit amazing. If you have a winter coat that the neckline is kind of cut into a V and you need something to come up, you don't feel like wearing a scarf, these are great. So I've worn these a lot, even though I haven't had them that long. Great, so here is that Oisho turtleneck. So this is from the ski collection. It is so nice feeling, you guys, and it keeps you really nice and warm. So I'm gonna go out right now and I'm gonna wear that um, Kylie, the Kai coat, and it's kind of cut down like that. So it's just nice to have this against your neck. And then I got another, um, this is more like a mock neck shirt this is that very very soft kind of like model type material it's almost like a little it's black but it's like that brushed black um this one's a little bit cropped it has a wider sleeve there and again this is in size medium so it runs true to size probably the size large in this would have been fine as well 
this is that material from there that is just so buttery soft and then this I got in a size large but um, it is oversized so probably you know the size medium would be fine as well so this is almost like a scuba type neoprene hoodie I just wanted something that was plain black zip up and this is great to wear for the gym or on a walk um, it doesn't get that cold here in the winter so it has a nice hood on it too um, so I really like this one and I can show you all these in the mirror after. Okay, next up, I got a couple things from Zara. So I don't have them here with me. They were delivered, but they went to a pickup point just because I think I was not home when they tried delivering them. But I got these jeans in the sale. I had them in my uh, like wish list, and they went on sale for around like 25 francs, or that's similar to US dollars. So I didn't know what size to get, um, either medium or large. I opted to get the size large just because you know how Zara is. I didn't want it to fit too small. I also thought if they do fit big, um, they have like a drawstring waist. So I'm excited to see how those fit. So I'll go pick them up probably tomorrow morning and then I'll film a try on for you. And then I just wanted to share you, this is from Zara Home. So if you have access to Zara Home, these two candles, I really, really love. They smell very, very nice. I will say, I know it's not good to use anything scented very often. These will probably last me a very long time. I've, I've had them quite a while already. So just two scents that are nice. And these, we got these in France, so they're a bit cheaper. It says on the bottom, $19.99. Um, that's in euros, obviously, but... Um, so this scent is Eternal Musk, and this smells exactly like a burrito that vetiver, I, I don't know how to pronounce that, I have the hand lotion. It smells almost exactly like that. It's really nice. When you burn this one, um, it's not heavily scented at all, but it's just, it's really nice. And then the other one, I don't know how to pronounce this word. I'll put it on the screen, but it's the basil and like eucalyptus one. And I really love their hand soap um, that is in this scent. It's like mint, eucalyptus, and basil. So if you typically like any of those, you will really like this candle. And this one, when you burn it, it gives off a bit more scent. And then these are the Zara jeans. So I finally just picked them up. The large is, I would say, the right size for me. The legs fit just how I wanted, nice and loose. And I had to put on platform shoes just because um, they are a little bit long. I will say the waist is kind of big at the back, but I just tied it really tight. I will warn you though, I thought this would be a real, um, you know, drawstring, but it's kind of a fake one. So the fabric just starts there and there, but you can still tighten it, which is nice. And then it just has a zipper and a button right there. So yeah, I am happy with these. I think originally they were $49.95 and I got them for around $25 in the sale. So they're 50% off. So I'll link them. If you guys can still find them, I would recommend them. This little purse I got, it was on sale and I got it off of like an Instagram ad. Did I need this? No, I think uh, there was a couple things that I'm gonna show you. I was severely jet lagged for about three weeks after we came back from the States. And I, I think I was going crazy because I just wasn't sleeping properly. I was like literally delirious. I didn't know if I'm ever gonna get my sleeping back on schedule. Um, I get jet like really bad, like way worse than anyone I've ever heard of. And I made a couple purchases kind of when I wasn't sleeping, which I probably shouldn't have. Normally I don't do that, but I don't know. I was not thinking straight. Did I need this? No. Is it cute? Yes. It wasn't that much money because I think I got it around Boxing Day. It's from the brand, don't know how to pronounce it, Damp Dampson, I can't even remember. I'm going to put it up on the screen, but it's almost like the shape of a saddlebag. It is, um, it might be hard to tell, but it's, it has a rose print stitched into it, and then the strap is like this. So I just thought that was really cute and nice if you just want an unbranded bag, and then you can cinch it up more if you want. And I liked how on the model, um, it was kind of ruffly. I thought it was cute. These next two items I got on sale off of, I think my Teresa, they are from Wolford. And I had wanted a black Wolford turtleneck for so long because I have a green one that I really like. And the black scuba leggings, they were both on sale. 
Yes, Wolford stuff is very expensive, but it's 100% worth it. It is such high quality. So I've worn them already, um, like right out of the box. So you can tell I really liked them. Both of these pieces are in size medium. They're, I just washed them this morning, so they're still hanging to dry, but I will um, insert a video here of them. But um, so I got the black turtleneck and then the black scuba leggings and just the, the quality is exceptional. If you have anything by Wolford, you'll know what I mean, but these pieces are really, really great. I would recommend both of them. This next item I got from Adenola. So I didn't include it with my last haul because I think it came a bit later. So this is in a size large. I usually take medium or large in some of their things, but I would say if in doubt size up with a lot of their stuff. So I probably could though fit in the medium of this. The size large runs pretty true to size. It's just a nice kind of Sherpa zip up. It's really warm. I've wore this a lot. It has Adenola on the tag there and then it has a nice little kangaroo pouch. The back is just plain and it does have toggles if you want to cinch it up. So here's the Adenola zip up. So this is the size large. I'm sure I could fit in the size medium, but I wanted this oversized. It has a nice kangaroo pocket there. The sleeves are nice and long and then it has adenola just on that little tag there and it dips down a little bit lower at the back and then i wanted to show you i liked this black shirt so much i ordered two more of them so now i have three of these and these were great for travel um it's just their long black plain tee it feels like skims but i actually think the quality of this one is better it's a bit thicker these do run small so i got the size large in this and it is quite fitted their large definitely fits like i would say a size medium at most other places so if you if you're looking for a really good black long sleeve tee that is like a nice base layer this one is great i would really recommend it and it is i said in another video it is very black in color when you put it on so this is just a little tip i've learned from traveling more if you can afford to say you know you like this black shirt i ordered three of them so now for travel i three of the days i just wore the same outfit right i pair it with a pair of black pants or black leggings this top and a long coat because often i find in the fall or winter i'm always wearing a long oversized jacket no one really sees my clothes on underneath so if you can pack the same type of thing and you know these don't take up much room it just makes your life so much easier you don't have to think in the morning in the hotel like what am i going to wear today i know oh i wore this yesterday it looked good just essentially put on a new one of the same thing um, yeah, that's just a little tip that has worked well for me. This was another one of my purchases in the middle of the night. Um, I ordered a belt that is like cow print and it is from the brand Streets Ahead USA. So they're all handmade in the US. So I got size medium. I went off their size chart. It's almost a little bit big, but probably with lower rise pants, it would fit better. So I don't know what possessed me to get this. I was just thinking this would look kind of smart with like if you're wearing a black turtleneck or like a black long sleeve shirt and maybe with like baggier trousers or jeans and then have this just for like a little pop of print. Um, did I need this? No, no, I did not. But they, if you, if you don't like this, I know this is probably not a lot of people's like up their alley, but if you don't like this um, on their website, they have a lot of other cool belts. So I just did want to shout them out and it's made in the USA. So it's called Streets Ahead. I'm very happy, although these are very expensive. I got myself another pair of the Skims, the soft lounge PJs because I saw they had a dark green color. So right before I moved here, so a year actually today when i'm filming this i have lived here for one year exactly that went by so quickly so before i moved here to switzerland i got myself a little treat the skims um, black pjs i wanted them for a long time so i saved them i remember i saved them to wear um, until i got here so i've been wearing them for one year I love them so much. The only thing though, because I watched another girl's review and she looked the same size as me. She says she prefers hers in the size large. So that's the size I ordered. They're really too big on me though. Like I'm very tall and I'm still tripping over them. They're very long and it's just too big on me, but I love them. So I got these in a size medium. Yes, they are expensive, but I will say after wearing my other ones, those are the 
you know, those are the PJs I gravitate towards. They haven't pilled or anything. When I wash my skim stuff though, I kind of keep it separate from other stuff and I hang it to dry. And then just, I can throw it in the dryer just for a little bit to fluff it up. But I got this dark cream color in the size medium and these fit me perfectly. I can maybe film like a, a shorts video just comparing the size medium to large because especially when you're ordering something so pricey, you wanna make sure you get the right size. But I just thought this green color was really nice and I actually, I got two of them. So now I'm, I'm good for a long time. So next up is this, this is a faux leather jacket. One of you asked about it in my previous video. I got it off an Instagram ad and I cannot even remember the name of it right now. So I'll put it up on the screen. I'll link everything below. I do remember I got the size large because I wanted it oversized. It's probably a little bit too big. So I should have got the size medium. Um, so you can get your true size and it's still going to be a bit oversized. Um, it does come from China. So probably the brand, they're just like drop shipping. It doesn't have a weird odor or anything. Sometimes, you know, like fake leather products do. Um, it doesn't have the brand name in it. So yeah, if you like this style and you don't want to buy a leather jacket, I do like this one. So just in case you missed my last video, I got the Frankie Shaw B blazer. So this is a size small. It's extremely oversized. It's just kind of loose and flowy and I didn't have a blazer like this. So I like the fit of this. It doesn't look good paired with everything. It's definitely a unique look, but I have a few black blazers. This one's very different. So I really like this. Um, the one I'm wearing too is from the Frankie Shaw, but make sure if you're interested in this, watch uh, that previous video I made just to know about the sizing. So next up a couple things from cause i think i got these on sale these are a size medium this is like a flared kind of like a dress pant trouser it's not super thick material it's very extreme bell bottom um so i would suggest to wear maybe a long blouse or blazer over the bum the waistband is a little bit big but i like how the leg fits so I notice sometimes with causes pants, I, I feel they run maybe a little bit big, but the medium for me is the truest size um, that I could get. And then also from cause we got this in, I think when we went to Lyon, so it was a little bit cheaper there. And then you get the vat back. So um, this scarf he got me it was on sale because I remember we were in the store when a big sale was happening and um, Basically, it's a material it will not shed it will not pill It's very nice and I didn't have a scarf this color. I don't really have many scarves at all So this is just a very nice one. I can show you in the mirror And just one last thing I wanted to share with you. I have three new electric toothbrushes to review for you guys. I will do a dedicated video. So these two were kindly gifted to me by Burst, which I have had a Burst toothbrush in the past and I really like it. So I'll do a review. Um, like I said though, all opinions are my own. I'm not being paid to say this. They just gifted me the product and I did want to try it out for you guys. And then this one I purchased on my own. This is from Spotlight Oral Care. Um, just a little spoiler, I do really love all of them. They're at all different price points and they're all very different. So I just wanted to throw that out there and I'll link them below because um, if you're new here, I was a dental hygienist most of my career. So I'm a good person to review these for you. Um, and just in case, you know, your new year's resolutions to take better care of your teeth. So I would recommend them all. This one's probably better suited if you're located in Europe. This is a UK brand. And then these two, I believe these models are only available in the US. So if you're American. So um, all different price points and I'll post my review pretty soon.